Hello and welcome back to Mega Reacts. So today we're going to be reacting to Babylon 5, Season 2, Episode 17. Last episode, it is a turning point. It is a turning point in the show, I have no doubt about it. Sheridan has been informed by Kosh and Delind about the ancient evil, the darkness, the first ones, just this, this long waiting, long planning group of aliens who work behind the scenes to bring down the light of the universe basically yeah it was crazy <laughs> and this all came about because sheraton realized a person on his on his uh space station was on the same ship as his wife and maybe his wife is alive who is this person how did they survive all sorts of questions but he had to let them go because we do not want to tip our hand to the darkness yet it was a really good episode it's a really good episode. A lot of the characters really give it their all. A lot of the actors. I mean, it was it was fantastic. I have nothing else to really say about last episode. It was amazing. It was amazing. It it excites me for what's to come, and I cannot wait to find out. So let's just get right into this episode. But before we do, come on this journey with me. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Patreon link in the description below. This is Mega. Let's get into it. Ever since B5 went online, there have been all kinds of stories about the place. Registering battery Strange change. lights, weird noise, vanishing. Maintenance nicknamed it the B5 <laughs> Triangle. <laughs> anything to the stories? Yeah, every station has its phantoms. Personally, I've never seen anything down there, but it is you know, kind of creepy. Holding Look, when I was a kid, I used to love to wander through all He's going to add it to his places. mystery secret Haunted collection. Houses, forbidden paths, Indian burial Ooh. grounds. It's like candy. I couldn't get enough. <laughs> I like this dude. Alone, okay? Strike. Got a got a little bit of Lord Agent out. Mulder in him. Thanks. No, 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 B. You can't begin to compare the compositions of Trentaro with those of Dorva. Wando Dorva is fun. Fine, fine, fine. The man was a giant of Centauri Opera. His opening aria for Trump. I prefer Cleon Opera, personally. Please. <laughs> Stand beside Centaro's Migri Vataro. Mila crossa vitima, Tivaye magri soledad, Timaya dara vitima. Aya vita, Lestero, Lestero, Migri. Good to see them having a good time together. <laughs> you don't write them like that anymore. Oh, shit. How fitting you should die with a song on your lips, Molari. Uh oh. Who are you? Your doom, Pasoleati. Pasoleati? Rosa? Rosa! Rosa! Good it is to see Urza Jado. <laughs> yes, we almost sought for the last time. By all the gods, never play a trick like that on me. Forgive me. That's a pretty good trick. Now we shall go back to my quarters, open a bottle of fine brivari, and you shall tell me what happy miracle has brought you here to Babylon 5. Careful. Careful, Sheridan. Do not want to go disappearing. B5 triangle. Ooh, I like the music. Very horror movie-esque. The lighting as well. Sheridan Garibaldi. Garibaldi. Chief, I'm in grade 10. I've just found a... Captain, Captain, I lost you. Chief, Chief. Captain, you. And again, then... Garibaldi, I can't reach oh. you. There must be... Ah! What did he do to you? Captain, you alright? They have some sort of psychic power? 
Yeah. A mind meld? I'm okay. Brain Let's corruption? As soon as you can. Did he pass something to you? Psychic virus? Your epinephrine novel's a bit elevated. All right, you and I will go through his quarters. Send a detail to check out his... Captain? Oh, you're tripping. Oh, <laughs> you're tripping. You right? I just felt a little dizzy there. In dueling societies, it is customary for each member to be given a fighting name by his comrades. They said I fought like a crazed Leante. And so they called me Paso Leante. Urza was known as Skaltura, the silent beast. Oh, those were great times, Vier. We were young. Urza was also an artifactor. Bursting to and a planeswalker. To each other if you know what I'm talking world. about, let me know. Our starships. My heart leaps to see you again. No more than does mine, my good and dear friend. Valtu. Valtu. Cutting to Sheridan. Have flashes. I just want to know is it transferred memory or is it some sort of psychic virus? Is it the consciousness of the dead being? I don't know. Oh shit, that's not good. Oh shit! It's a damn creature from D&D. Just a bad trip. Captain? Oh, oh, oh. You okay? Yeah, yeah. I'm okay. <clears throat> so what does forensics say? Suicide. Are you telling me he bashed his own skull in? <sighs> yeah, against the pipe where you found him. Doc picked half of it out of his brain pan. Any idea why? Because he was going mad from visions. Well, like you're gone. going to be. <laughs> Listen to me, <laughs> moaning about dead passion like an old drunk. You know what I need? A drink. <laughs> A drink? And we trust this man. Your name is spoken often on Sintari Prime these days. Oh, yes. And what do they say about me when they speak my name? That your star is once again in ascendance, as is the Republic's. Well, it's about time. Centauri have bowed to the to the whims of other races for too long. Now we will show the galaxy a true spirit. Begin One of conquest, us. war, thrice damn destruction. Well, Emperor Turhan, may the gods comfort him. Never wanted another war with the Narn. The Emperor was a good man, but he was wrong about the Narn. War with them was inevitable. They had it was. It choice. was inevitable. The Narn did not start Ooh. this conflict. They were forced into it by a faction within He's our anti war. The same faction who murdered Prime Minister Malachi and put that infantile puppet Cartagia on the throne. A resolution is about to be brought before the Centauri. Oh shit. Declaring me and my house traitors oh. to the Republic. Shit. Oh, you're joking. Could never prove such a thing. These days, the mere accusation is enough. If you stand with me, I know. I you must toe the line, though, right? For him to stand with you. And will you be willing to do that? I knew you would not deny me, Pasolat. And now I must go. Tomorrow, I will arrange a banquet to celebrate our reunion. Don't freak out. Don't have another flashback. Yeah, this this dude is high as a mofo. 
You are you are doped up, my friend. What can I do for you, Molani? I am told Volcator Jado will be declared a traitor by the Centaurum. He is a traitor. Don't be a fool. Those may differ with a few politicians, but he would never betray the Republic. I will vouch for him personally. Have you said this publicly? I want the resolution dropped. It is already accomplished. Well, then unaccomplish it. House Jado is crumbling, and anyone who defends it will crumble as well. You may no longer fit in with our plans. I fit in with your plans. Perhaps you are forgetting who made your plan a reality. You find out anything more about that Markab? No, not really. Every check confirms he was just your average business type. But there is one thing. He came through Sector 14 on his way here. Sector 14? Isn't that restricted? That's right. Ever since the incident last year with Babylon 4. Babylon 4? I thought that was destroyed. Yeah, so did we, until we got a signal from it. He said, didn't know I this? I never read anything about this in the station logs. Well, that's because Earth Force decided to confiscate all the records for their investigation. But Earth Force believes there's still some kind of anomaly out there. Maybe the Mark had encountered it. Anyway, it's all here. <laughs> I thought you said the uh, records were all confiscated. <laughs> Always. I never know when I might want to write my memoirs. I'd buy that. <laughs> the memoirs of Garibaldi. <laughs> I'd buy that for a dollar. No. Lots of drinking, lots of fighting, a little bit of loving. <laughs> to us. Old comrades well met. And to the Republic. To the Republic. Oh, you've asked for my help? I've given it. No charges will be made against you or your house. The resolution has already been brought before the Centaur. And my sources assure me. Yeah, well, that's not possible. Lord Rifa promised. Rifa? What do you have to do with him? He's my ally. I have a destiny to fulfill. One which will take our people back to a golden age. We are Centauri, Urza. We are meant to conquer, to rule. You listen to me, Urza. No one can stop this. A new day is coming to our people. A great day. And I can help you be a part of it. By the loss of the Kuro Prido, I challenge you to the Marago Lando. Fight to the death? You would fight me yes. to the death, also? Yes. To save my honor and my family from your new friends. Or have you become as cowardly as they? Oh, hell no. I take your gift and your challenge in the spirit in which they are offered. Make your peace with the gods and return here in two hours. Okay, this turned quick. <laughs> wow. Hello, this is Clint with Mega Reacts here to talk to you a little bit about movie palette. Movie palettes consist of stripes of color carefully chosen by the artistic teams at the company. Every stripe represents the color of a particular scene in the movie. Each stripe is put in chronological order to complete the movie palette experience. To get more into the movie palette I chose, which is for the movie Mandy, as any of you who have seen the movie knows, it is a very colorful visual movie. And because of that, when I look at this movie palette, I can see every scene with just a splash of color. It brings back vividly to me my favorite moments. And with the holidays right around the corner, I cannot think of a better gift for both art fans and movie fans. Either or both doesn't really matter. Use the code MEGA15 to say 15% off and you'll be doing myself and yourself a great favor. Babylon 4. Used in the fight in the future against Reaper. the darkness, the shadow. What do you want? Are his parents? Mom. This dude Dad. is tripping so hard, my man. <laughs> Doctor, doctor, he left his car. 
Delta One, why are you prepping for launch? Delta One, please respond. This is Commander Ivanova. Ivanova, this is Sheridan. Captain, what are you doing? I'm just going out for a little spin. There's no need to worry. I'll be back before you know it. Well, you must kill your friend, Londo. I knew you would not disappoint me. Do you really intend to go through with this, Urza? It is the only way. Come on, Londo. Londo's kind of the bad guy, but I'm still rooting for him. <laughs> Delta 2 to Delta 1, do you read me? You're a bully, is that you? It's one and the same. Mind telling me what you're doing? Giving someone a lift. Is it a creature that wants to go home? Want to explain that, sir? That escalated quick. Oh, we got you. First blood. They drew first blood. Ah! Oh! <laughs> I exercise the demon. <laughs> Be gone! Be gone, LSD demon. <laughs> Good job, Garibaldi. The claw machine champion. <laughs> 2372. Babylon 5 is Garibaldi. Bringing our wandering captain home. I'll do it. Why did you make me do this, Rosa? My family. I could not let them share my disgrace. The honorable this death? Man, yeah. They die with honor. And you will see they are protected. Yes, I promise it. I have made many choices lately, Veer. And today, for the first time, I'm not sure those choices were right. Perhaps some good has come out of this tragedy. It's not too late to make some new choices. No. The blood is already yeah, on my it's hands. It's too late. Right or wrong. Your path is set. I must follow the path to its end. But Londo, you can go now, Veer. I want to sleep. Heavy as the crown. <laughs> it's a good episode. I'll be right back with you. That was Babylon 5, Season 2, Episode 17. Another just fantastic sci-fi 42 minutes of television. <laughs> it was so good. So Sheridan gets this, we'll call it a psychic parasite from a temporal disturbance, apparently, that hitched a ride on some freighter captain, drove him insane to kill himself. Passing on to Sheridan, Sheridan interpreted the visions very much like a bad LSD trip, realized what the creature wanted, got it back home, all is well in the world. He exercised the demon back into its own space and time. Fantastic, fantastic. Then we have Londo and his old friend. They have a good time for first night and then turns out his friend is against the moves of the great Centauri Empire and he's being brought up on basically like treason charges for the most part as i can tell I, I believe it would be something similar to treason charges here on planet earth and uh londo and him getting a duel to the death and the guy kind of throws the fight and lets londo kill him so his family will be protected from the great dishonor that is going to be cast upon his family name but now since londo killed him they are under londo's family all as well Wow. Wow. Good episode. Good episode. Didn't really touch on anything we learned the previous episode about the shadow, the darkness, and all that craziness, but that's fine. Every episode doesn't need to touch on overarching plot. This had some great moments. I'm sure 
We will touch back on some of these things again, as I have been reminded time and time again by all the fans out there. This was all written at one time for a large arc and everything was planned, everything has purpose. Those psychic vampire parasites might come back or we could maybe have something to do with the Centauri Empire now because Londo is starting to see the cracks in this new republic he is helping to create. Even though, like he said, blood has already been spilled, it's already on his hands, there is no following a different path. He must follow the path he is on. And that path, as we all know, will lead to him being killed by Jakar. Got to see how that pans out. See if our futures are truly set or if we can change them in the end. Only time will tell. Hopefully you enjoyed this reaction. If you did, please continue to come on the journey with me. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Patreon link in the description below. This is Mega signing off.